All right, we're live. Oh, that might be the, a bit loud. Uh, that much. But hello, everyone. Hello, Veeprit. Hello, Scobo. How are you guys doing? <laughs> hey. Points well spent, Veep. <laughs> I'm Swordcaster, and today we are playing The Kids We Were. I don't know anything about this game. I, uh, I know it is about nostalgia. I know it is about childhood. That's about it. Ariel, yo! Hey, hey! <laughs> um, yeah. Today we will be playing this game. I hear it's kind of more like a point-and-click adventure. Whatever, like, To the Moon was, apparently. So, uh, that seems like right up my alley. And I'm gonna say this song, probably gonna... Like, it's actually making me really sad right now, so, uh, let's just... Let's just get into it, huh? <clears throat> oh, I have... Chapter 1, The Shrine Dig Site. What do you say, Minato? Hmm? Have you made up your mind? <laughs> this strange tale begins one warm summer's day. A small story, yes, but even the, the tiniest tales can mean much for those who undertake them. All right. Kagami, a small town just like any other. There's a local legend here, and it goes something like this. On the night the star falls, Is it Maggie or Maggie? The Maggie will appear. Maggie. Magic? Magic. Maggie. 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 <laughs> God damn it. Will appear. An envoy from eternity's far shore. Thank you for the hydrate, Scobo. Ah. An envoy from eternity's far shore. Hand at the helm, the Maji arrives in a ship that sails with tides of time. The Maji is to be feared. You've heard it pronounced Maji. Okay. The Maji is to be feared. The Maji is to be sheltered. Offer aid in time of need, and your heart's deepest wish shall be granted. Getting ready for work in a couple hours. Have a great stream. Yeah, no problem, Scovo. I hope work goes well. Chapter 1. Premonitions. Oh, like ma- Ah, like magic. Like the word magic. Okay. Uh... Oh, his, his, it's a kid, right? Huh? Huh? <clears throat> uh, I had that dream again. Hey, Mom? Where are you going again? Ask her that yesterday, dork. She's going to a memorial service. Hmm. I wasn't asking you. Uh... Hey, Mom? What's a memorial? I guess you're still too young to know. Hmm. How to explain? It's when people get together and remember old friends. Old friends who we said goodbye to a 
long time ago. <coughs> oh, like that one old friend you always talk about? Exactly. Don't worry, I won't be long. Be a good girl and wait for me, okay? You heard mom. While we're waiting, how about you and I go for a walk, Mirai? Boring. <coughs> um, what station do we get off at again? Kagami, can't you remember anything? Next stop, Kagami. Kagami. For quick quality service, try Yabu Clinic, your neighborhood expert in cataract surgery, fifth floor in front of the station. Next stop, Kagami. Press the button if you'd like to get off. Oh, I want to press the button! Come on, kids. This is us. Yay! We're here! Hey, no running, Mirai! <coughs> hey, Mom? Is Mirai really sick? She seems so healthy and normal. My name's Minato. That's my mom standing next to me. That feisty girl who ran off a second ago is my little sister, Mirai. Yeah, you heard right. Um, Mirai's sick. Kind of sick. Though, she doesn't know it yet. What? Yay! Take off! Vroom! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, boy. Hey, I said no running! Ah, oh, kids. Small enough to get moving. A shot. Hey. What do you want, punk? Shoot, there's nothing for you here. Whoa, dude! The Comet 8900! It's the latest, greatest. That's probably not how you say it. It's the latest, greatest model, but orange, dude? You're killing me! You guys have nostalgia for like things you haven't even seen before or been before this game is cute yeah I really like the style of it I've always been a big fan of like voxel looking games put your character on screen oh I know I'll talk to Mirai after hold on there are some people here um I don't have time to fool around mom and Mirai are wait <laughs> oh god sorry hold on. you definitely do yeah, like, like, you know, I, I feel like I've seen enough countrysides, be they, you know, Japan or Western, um, but that I'm, like, really nostalgic for countryside towns. Just, you know, despite having never really been to one myself. Okay, fine. What's up, Mirai? <clears throat> hey, Mommy! This is where you and Daddy met, right? That's... That's right. He took you to the movies on your first date, right? I love movies! Mirai, follow you. You don't need to shout. You feel heavy nostalgia for the woods, the smell of pine, a sky full of stars, and a train whistle in the middle of the night. Oh, that's so good. That is a very evocative picture you are painting, Ariel. Yeah. Like, here's the thing. I don't... I've never been to, like, the woods or, you know, anything remotely country-like. But, um... 
you know, I'm sure I'd have a bad time, but, you know, it, it, it's... Sometimes there are little feelings that you don't get to feel. Like just living out in the city. Seeing the PlayStation console makes you feel like a, like a kid. Dude, do you... It's... You remember when all technology kind of looked like the PlayStation? Or like... Anything that was futuristic looked like the PlayStation? It's kind of hard to go back to those days, right? Where the future was the newest game console. Like, I remember when the Wii came out and I was like, Oh man, white. This is the future. Look at this. It's like we're living in the Dreamcast era again. Look how glossy this thing is. And glossy kind of faded out of fashion. Kind of like a transparent plastic. I kind of miss that era too. Fine. But you have to promise to tell me more about Daddy, okay? Oh my god. Okay. Alright. I promise. And my parents got divorced years ago. Mirai doesn't even remember what Dad looks like. And the truth is, recently I've been having trouble remembering too. I have no clue what happened to Dad after my parents divorced or what he's doing now. Well, not no clue. I've got one. I found a holiday card my dad sent at my aunt's house completely by accident. And from it I learned... Hey, Mommy? Daddy still lives in Kagami, right? Huh? <clears throat> What's the big deal, Mirai? I said we couldn't let her know we knew that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Right, how did you... It's a secret! <laughs> I'm gonna run ahead now. We'll talk later, Minato. Hold it right there, Missy. <sighs> I'm gonna go get her. Keep up, okay? <clears throat> My mom would never... My mom would never let me... <laughs> like, just follow behind on... Well, like, when I was a kid, obviously now, she probably would. Probably. Alright, I'll follow after them. Let me just talk to people. Spot! Spot! Where did you go? He was here just a second ago. Yes, uh, I saw your mom and sister head off that way. Aren't you going with them? What's taking the train so long, Mom? I'm thirsty! I want a juice box! No, you just had one. Now stop fidgeting and wait quietly like a good girl. Train is really late. I wonder what happened. Can I read? No. Dog! Dog, 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 dog. Woof! Woof! There's park a car in front of my home. Shabby or not, someone lives here. Me! Oh. By the stars. Hey, you there, boy. Hold your horses. Hmm? Eh? This guy looks like a weirdo. Mm-hmm. Aha, I knew it. You were born under a blessed star, boy. Did you know that? Did you? Um... Pleased to meet you, blessed one. I'm a seer. A fortune teller of sorts. Uh, right. So, care for a reading? And fear not, I won't charge you a dime. I mean, I hope not. We're Japan. <laughs> uh... uh... The seer will help you learn how to play the game. It's sort of like an interactive tutorial. Eh, I'm fine. One. We'll do one. Oh. No, I'm fine. 
Wait, how do I save the game? Shit. For some reason, this game reminds you of an old church school you used to go to. It was playing some weird alien shooting game on the Nokia. Oh, weird. Huh. Was it also like box? Well, I mean, it probably wasn't voxel based, but. Why is my rise sick? alleyway here. Oh, never mind. It's weird what, like, is nostalgic, right? What just happens to evoke memories. I still have weird memories of, like... I still have weird memories of just, like, you know, laying down on a couch in my cousin's house. Dasai, yo, hey, hello, hello yourself. How's it going? Um, how does the volume sound, by the way? Does everything sound okay? I've been messing around with my setup again, ah. And, uh, you know, just hoping that everything sounds a-okay, loud and clear, not too, not too muffled, not too muffled out by this, the game. Good, good, how am I? I'm doing all right. I'm starting up this game. We, the kids we were. Volume is good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. I'm basically eating my mic right now. So um, apparently that's why I sound really quiet on Discord. So I will try to make note of that next time we do anything. Whee! Do you ever calm down? Add some whipped cream for flavor. That, I don't want to have to send my mic back again. That was a nightmare. Hey, Mom. What was this area like back when you were young? Oh, hmm. I think there was a cigarette shop right over there. That's a weird thing to remember. I guess you remember this area pretty well, though. I do. I had a lot of fun memories around here. Thinking back, they were fun times, weren't they? Are you headed to the memorial service? Hmm. Here, take this. <coughs> Sorry, I drink water. Don't redeem it. I, I will do this. Ah! I did not eat my mic. <laughs> With or without whipped cream. Is that a flyer, Mom? A Kagami Elementary School memorial service for victims of the Great Quake. Oh, boy. It was a terrible disaster, really. Two children died so young. You're attending, right, Mom? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize. Were you rela related to the deceased? No, not exactly. Oh, um, that's a relief. Still, I put my foot in my mouth. Sorry for bothering you. Be good while I'm at the service, okay, Minato? This is gonna be to the moon all over again kind of vibes. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. Kind of scared. And keep an eye on Mirai for me. Well, she's already, like, miles away, Mom, but okay. Got it. Oh, there she is. What? You're going alone, Mommy? <laughs> Sorry, Mirai. Oh, I almost forgot. Minato, you know my phone number in case of emergency, right? Here, I'll write it on the back of this flyer. Don't lose it. New item added to catalog. Flyer. Okay. Well, I'm off. Don't forget we're meeting at the station later, got it? Got it! Take care, Mom. <coughs> Sorry, going to my higher register. It's hard. Well, it's, well, it's not hard, but it's... Wait, 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 wait.
about that. Um, <clears throat> She's gone. It's time for our secret mission, right, Captain? Well, Mirai, I'm impressed. You do remember some things. How could I forget? I'd imagine it's training on the throat. It's, it, it's like, I can do it, but it's like, I don't know, it, it's, it, it's just, eh. It, it like tickles a little bit. <clears throat> that's, that's right. Ah, uh, where was I? That's, that's right. We're on a top secret mission. Our dad lives somewhere in this town, and we're gonna find him. I've got a little confession to make. I wasn't lying when I said I wanted to find my dad. But today's top secret mission is just a cover up. A cover for my Ultra Mega Code Red Real Top mission. So, how are we gonna find him? Hmm, that's the problem, isn't it? Oh, 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 idea! Let's go ask the local police person. Huh? Yeah! Dad's got a really weird last name, right? I bet if we ask the police person, he'll know it right away. I'm gonna imagine that there are gonna be more kids in here, so I'm gonna need to diversify a little. I bet if we ask the police person, he'll know it right away. <clears throat> wow! That's- wow! That's a pretty clever idea! Good thinking! <laughs> I did good! He did. Now let's find the police box. <clears throat> like, specifically when it comes to Japan. Like, Japanese, old, like, kind of small old country towns. I do have a lot of nostalgia. Not really for, you know, I've never been there myself, but, you know, I feel like there's a lot of media that definitely focuses on the small town life. And it's just like, oh. You know? Nagami Elementary School Memorial Service for Victims of the Great Quake. The comet that appeared 33 years ago is about, about to visit again. Join us in a moment of silence under its light to honor the children lost in the disaster. Come on in, take a look around. Uh, you look like the high strung type. Most of my customers are. I am like... 10. <clears throat> Been there, it's a pretty sight. Quite quiet too. Yeah, I've only ever like... I I watch a lot of like walk around videos of people just walking through like areas, be it like amusement parks or malls or stuff like that, like all over the world. And it's like, whenever it's like a Japanese, a small Japanese town, it's always like, oh man. Part of this probably is scary to walk around at night because it's like so quiet. But the other part is probably really like nice and like relaxing. Yeah. I don't want to work ever again. I slave away every day and does life get better? No. Things were much better back in the old days. It was... You could, well... It was better, no doubt about it. The police box? It's right there. Wait, what are these clones doing? Where is she hiding? Shh! She'll find me! Now go away! I'm surprised you've been there, V. Cop. Found it! Found it! Find your keepers. This place is this box place is mine now. Mm, uh, hello there, little girl. Sorry, but that's not how property works. Can I help you with something else? Yeah, we're looking for. Oh, whoops! I forgot again. Uh, Toki Watari. Oh, yeah! Dad's last name! Um, excuse me, but do you know if a man named Tokiwatari lives around here? Uh, Toki... what? what now? Uh, 
Toki Watari. It's a weird name, I know. Toki, Toki. Hmm. Sorry, kid. Never heard of any Toki, Toki Safari around these parts. Sure you have the name right? It's Toki Watari. And I'm sure. Well, if I met someone called Toki, Toki Wari, I'd remember. Maybe try asking around. Somebody might recognize the name. I'd suggest asking the old lady who runs the diner. He's a great listener and hears all sorts of town gossip. <coughs> great! I'll do that. Um, where can I find her? Take a left and follow the road until you get to Second Street. It's right by the big sh uh, Shinto Shrine Gate. <laughs> Thanks, sir. I really appreciate it. The silly police person helped us! <laughs> yep, let's go find this diner. Hints. Okay. The wise hints. Got it. Second straight. I am getting to the moon vibes. What? It it's happening again. Excuse me. Do you, uh, do you happen to know someone named um, Manabu Toki Watari? Toki Watari? I I have no idea. Why yes, of course. It was only a few days ago, after all. Wait, what? Um, hello? Earth to Minato! Oh, I know what's happening. Were you having a weird dream again? If he died, that'd be really confusing, because we're his kids. <clears throat> Daydream in this case, but yeah. Recently, I've been having the most bizarre dreams. In them, I'm in places I've never seen, talking to people I've never met. But something about them is just so... real. It kind of freaks me out. And now, they're not just plaguing me while I sleep. I sometimes see them even when I'm awake. And, uh, no, I, I was just spacing out. Sorry for the holdup. You again? No. I don't need no tutorial. I closed today. Why? Why? I smell like a dead squirrel. I need a bath. One mini. Beside, young'un, my grandson's in trouble. If I don't wire him that cash right away- What the hell is going on with you? Hello? <laughs> I'm here to sell insurance, but this whole town is geriatric. <sighs> Guess it's the same everywhere nowadays. Mini! Oh. Yo, cop! What's the trouble, son? Boss? Not surprising. All the streets around here look the same. You're on 2nd Street. Over that way, you'll find Kagabi Shrine, the cemetery. Head that way, and you'll find yourself on Main Street. That's how you get to the train station. Hey. <coughs> Got it? Good. Now head along home and watch out for traffic. No cars. There are no cars. Oh, oh she's old! I bet she's the lady we're looking for! Ah, oh, hello there, sweetie. How can I help you? Um, um, question! We're looking for someone, his name is, is... Uh... uh whoops, I forgot again. Uh... Tokiwatari! Seriously, I'm starting to worry about you. 
Tokyo Atari. My, I haven't heard that name in ages. You know him? I know the name. Everyone back then did. And they had this gorgeous house, so they were something like local celebrities. What about now? Where can I find this house? Sorry, but it went down ages ago. I don't know what happened to them after that. How long ago was this? Why, it would have been back during the war, wouldn't it? What? War? What war? The last one was like forever ago. Um, <sighs> sorry, but I'm not interested in family history or whatever. I'm looking, with, I'm looking for someone with that name alive now. Oh, well then, I'm not sure if I can help. Actually, come to think of it, the priest might know something. Um, who's that? The nice man in charge of the town's Buddhist temple, sweetie. That place has been here since the dawn of time. Try the temple cemetery. The priest is usually out tending to it around this time. Cleaning it is one of his daily rituals. Uh, give me a sec. What is this cute game? Hello, Marna. How's it going? Um, I... Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, what the hell? Um, this is the kids we were. It is kind of a cute little... It, it kind of reminds me of To the Moon so far in terms of, like, what it's kind of going for. Um... Ah, oh, heck. Sorry, I, I I am pausing a little bit, I'm trying to. I uh, am making sure something's working, and oh my god, why is everything's freezing up? There we go. <laughs> um, but how are you doing, Marna? How's it going? And sorry, my stream deck is like having a little bit of problems right now. Not that I'm really using it. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I think we're back. Yay! Hide and seek! Let's go find this priest person, Minato! G going good. Did I finish Neon White? Yeah, I did! I really enjoy that game. It's probably one of my favorite games of maybe all time, really. But yeah, I did indeed finish that game, and thus we are on a new game. I should really get back to Cult of the Lamb, but I, I, I want to do some voice acting stuff, you know? It's not far, just turn over there and you'll be right there. Can't miss it. Thank you for all the help. <laughs> right, right. Off you go and good luck. Mm. The cemetery, huh? Yeah, my stream deck's having a bit of problems right now, but, but it's it's fine. It's whatever. Did you know a comet's coming to going to pass overhead soon? It comes by every once thir every thirty three years. Used to be you could get a lovely view of the comet up there from Kagami Shrine. Not for much longer though. If that tragedy hadn't befallen the priest's only daughter, then I'm sure they wouldn't be tearing the shrine down. What? Hey there, brother. Here for a tune? Uh... Uh, who are you? Uh, should I be calling the cops? <laughs> Easy now. I guess you're too young to have heard of me yet. My name's Pilgrim. I wander these streets. Sing my songs and getting along. My voice is chameleon. Yeah, that might be a bit much, but I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm... Thing... I, I want to say the thing with me and voices is I can't really, like, change my voice all too much. But, um, like, tweaking it a little bit, as well as, like, just, you know, going at a different voice. Going at a different angle It's kind of how I get along. Alright, so this is just BGMs. Got it. Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I appreciate it nonetheless. It's enough for good variety. I'd hope so. 
Especially, oh. I don't think the cemetery's this way. What? Oh. Oh, here it is. Eep! Um, Minato, this place is spooky. Maybe we should leave. Why? Oh, let me guess. You're scared of ghosts, aren't you? No, I'm not. <laughs> Don't worry. The sun's out. So the evil ghosts won't eat you. <laughs> they fear the light of day. There are ghosts here? Wow. She's gotten a lot bigger lately. But she's still just a little kid at heart. Don't worry, you don't have to come in. Wait right there. I'll be right- I'll be back in a jiffy. Aw. Hurry up already! These Jizo? Jizo. Statues behind me are kind of spooky. Uh, can that one just move? I actually really like cemeteries. I find them really comfy, comfy and like comforting. Like obviously it's different at night, but during the day they're kind of peaceful. I I recognize this place. I'm sure of it. I saw it in my dream. Oh, they're well kept. Yeah. Okay, that's a, that's fair. Like a well kept cemetery is very nice, but like one that's kind of decrepit. Eh. I've been to some of them. I want to say, like, one of the local cemeteries was kind of a mess. Uh, the one that, um, I used to go to to visit my grandfather, well, you know, like, in the ground, um, was actually really nice and very well kept and, like, just, it was a nice place. It was one of those cemeteries you could actually drive around. This gravestone is real big. I wonder whose this is. Let's see. Well, this name is really hard to read. Yeah, no clue. Oh, well. Oh, there you are. My grandfather in the ground. It, it, he, 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 you know, he has since passed away. Or he ha he was passed away, basically, before I was born. But, you, you know. A visitor, how unusual. What brings you here? Ah. Ah, a relative of the Tokiwatari, Tokiwatari, Tokiwatari family, perhaps. I'm gonna mispronounce that name, so sorry. It is a fine thing to see one so young pay respect to those who have gone before us. I'm sure they smile to see you here. Uh, Tokiwatari? Oh, that's how you, that's how you read the name on this gravestone? Oh my, I got ahead of myself, didn't I? You're not a relative of the family, then. Um, do you know... Do you know the Tokiwataris? Tokiwataris? <laughs> of course. The family is one of our oldest and most respected pa uh, par pa par 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 parishion. <laughs> no! Parishioners. <laughs> it is a hard word. <laughs> don't don't out me. Come on. Ah, uh, parishion is a rather hard word for a child of your age to, to simplify. C can I ask a question? Do you, do you uh, do you happen to know someone named Manabu Tokiwatari? Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, of course. It was only a few days ago, after all. A sad thing is death. A lovely funeral, but a sad thing indeed. Yeah, he dead. I guess we should have probably put that together considering we're visiting. I can't remember how long I stood there. I at first I struggled just to process it. The thoughts spun through my head. Circling and circling till I was dizzy with them. I was in shock, of course. I just learned that my father was dead. But 
at that particular moment, there was something else that had stunned me even more. How is this possible? How did I see what was going to happen before it did? I'd never been here before, or seen that priest. That dream, what was it? Chapter 1. Premonitions. End. Yeah, save. Definitely save. Please save. Yeah, over override. I don't care. <laughs> override everything. One save. After the initial shock wore off, I asked the priest to tell me about my dad. I learned that he passed away last year from lung disease. And I learned that he'd, he'd been living a quiet life here alone in the years before he died. Honestly, I can't remember what went through my head. Everything was a blur. I didn't notice how tightly my fists were clenched. Or when Mirai showed up looking for me. And Chapter 2 Mirai and Me Nato? Are you done yet? I'm getting bored. Oh, uh, hi, Mirai. Did you find Daddy? How long until I can see him? Mirai. Dad, he's... What's wrong? I'm sorry to disturb you, but, uh... Your name is Mirai, little girl. Yep, that's me. Th then you must be... Minato? Uh, yeah. How did she guess that? Unbelievable. This is truly a miracle. It must be the will of the divine. Praise be. Amen. Please, wait here just a moment. I have something to give to you, too. I'll be back faster than you can recite the Heart Sutra. Don't move an inch, okay? It is a memento of Monabus, your father. What? Dad. <coughs> hey, Minato? What's a memento? Oh. It's, um, oh, this is hard. Is it something like this necklace? Huh? What makes you say that? Mom gave it to me. She said it was a memento of Mom's mom. So that used to be Grandma's? Yep. Hey, Grandma died, right? That's why... Oh, wait a second. And then that means... That, uh, that's not it, Mirai. It's, well... Sorry for the wait. Look, Mirai, a distraction! Hmm? This is what I wanted to give you, Minato. A, a notebook? Notebook. Is there anything on the back? No, of course not. <laughs> Manabu, Manabu gave it to me for safekeeping. It was... Dad's? Correct, and I'd like you to have this as well. I found it stuck between the pages. A, a map? I don't understand. It is a map of this town, to be exact. And it's quite old, too. This is what the town was like back, back then, when I was much, much younger. Oh, I did... Why did my dad have this old map? Sorry, but I can't help you there. Never said. Um, do you know why Dad wanted me to have this? No. All he told me is that one day a boy and girl would come to pay their respects at his grave. He insisted that when that happened, 
I simply must give this give you this notebook. He wanted us to have this? Yes, but how peculiar. He was in such good health then. I thought he was just having a joke at my expense. I'm confused. What's going on? Why haven't you found Dad yet? He's psychic too, probably. This is... Huh. It's a lot more mystical than I thought it was going to be. Ah. I'll explain later, Mirai. Children, may I ask a question? I apologize if I'm mistaken, but... Sorry, we're in a bit of a rush. <clears throat> huh? We are? Come on, Mirai, let's go! Hey, wait up! Uh, yes, wait, I wasn't finished yet. Are we in a rush? I guess we are. Slow down! We <coughs> oh, oh, God. <coughs> I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. <coughs> Slow down! Oh, my God, why can't I... <coughs> <coughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Slow down! Wait for me! Well, we ran away fast, huh? I, I don't know why, but it seemed right. 911, please! Please! Oh no, don't die! I'm having so much fun listening. Hello, Arello! How you doing? Thank you! Um, uh, hello! Uh, welcome to the chat! Hi! <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, sorry. I'm. I will get back to it. I'll be okay, Mara. Don't worry. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I don't know why it's her voice specifically. G Guma, yo, hey, thank you. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, Minato, what did that guy in the funny clothes give you? The new voices. Always a good day. That's good to hear. Like, I, you know, I, I wanted to do this just to, you know, hang out. But, you know. <laughs> Psyche Kids, this is Earthbound written all over it. Kind of a little neon. Also, welcome. Like, it, there is, I mean, we have a hat on. <laughs> you know, right, you're not chatting anymore because you want to hear your narration. Yeah, feel free. Like, if you guys want to lurk, I'm just, you know, I'm just playing the game. Narrating the game. I'm here to let you guys experience it. No dying, please hydrate. I will. I have water right next to me. Don't worry. And thank you for the posture check, Ariel. Let's take a minute to do that. Okay. Let's continue. A notebook. A and an old map. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm probably gonna need to change Minato's voice if I'm gonna be voicing more and more kids. A, a map? I wanna see. Let me see. Sure. Here you go. Mm, what do you think? Yeah, this is just my normal. This is probably how I sat it when I was a kid, honestly. <clears throat> um. Okay. Uh. Wow. Look how bad the drawings are. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. But I guess it doesn't matter. It's too old to come in handy. Can I see the notebook? I want to read what's in it. Yeah, good idea. Let's read it together. Let's see. This is a bit clearer. The cover says The Seven Mysteries. And I can't quite put my finger on it, but I feel like I've seen the handwriting somewhere before. I'm gonna read it out loud now, okay? Go ahead! Uh, to you who would dare unravel the seven mysteries of Kagami, I entrust this notebook. Seek out the girl, Nozomi. Solve the seven mysteries. Minato Mirai is a place in Yokohama. Oh, huh. Interesting. I wonder, I, I'm sure it is on purpose. I'm just wondering why. Do this, and your truest wish will be granted. 
Minato? Yeah? I, I think you've been watching too much anime. That's really what it says, honest! See, I, I didn't make it- I just- I didn't just make it all up! Wow, you're right! Ew, this person's handwriting is gross. Oh, check this out! The seven mysteries are written out on the next page! <coughs> Sorry, I don't get- I don't usually get tasked with voicing young girls a lot, just saying. <coughs> the Haunted Train. Phantoms, Phantom of the Bathhouse. Never too much anime. The School Pool, School Pool Kappa. Suchinoko, Suchinoko. <laughs> the Smiling Woman. Maji. The Seven Mysteries Notebook. Wow, this is starting to sound cool. It sounds stupid to me. Why do boys like this sort of stuff? Hey, there's one last thing written here. Behind you lies Kagami Shrine. Something waits for you inside. Huh, <laughs> you're right, this is pretty ridiculous. Um, Minato, I think you should turn around. K Kagami Shrine? Uh, that's a creepy coincidence. Do you think we should go in? What's it? What's the age difference between these two kids? Like two years? Kids we were. Coins. Coins can be found scattered about town in all sorts of unexpected places. Hang on to them. They might prove useful down the line. Um, now that there are a bit more people, uh, how does the volume sound on me, by the way? Can you guys hear me distinct from the game's audio? Just always let me know. Like, usually I ask. Volume's good? Okay, cool. Just, just want to know. Like, especially for these, like, voice acting streams, I always, I can't really hear the music myself. The places they're hidden change each chapter, so make sure to search every nook and cranny. Okay. Oh! Um... Yeah! We found a coin! Did you learn what you came for? Hey, cop! What's the trouble, son? Moss? Oh. No, 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 no. You don't need to tell me. No, 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 you're good. Sounds good to you? All good? Cool, cool. Alright, just making sure. Um, usually I'm in... Usually when I stream on OBS, I'm usually kind of higher in the red or something. And, but, you know, I'm doing a lot of, like, screaming, so I'm trying to, like, you know, account for that. Let me, let me raise the game just a little bit. It's already kind of high. Um... Okay, yeah. How does this... It, probably a little bit better, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I, I I never know. I never know. Um, yeah. We'll keep it there. Um... Can we go back? I feel bad. Nope. <clears throat> All right. What what are the coins gonna be used for, I wonder? Oh, ooh! This is a secret. No, it's not. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Did you know a comet's going to pass overhead soon? It comes by every once. Every 33 years. Used to be all you could... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, we got that. Alright, let's go to the shrine. Isn't that where our mom is? Never mind. No, it's not. This is the place the notebook was talking about, right? I wonder what's supposed to find... What I'm supposed to find here. 
me right. Do you want to come with me or stay out here? Don't you dare leave me alone. Coming with you. You got it. Come on, let's go. Hey. Found one coin. So the tearing down the shrine. I'm waiting for someone. Well, not exactly. I don't expect them to show up. It's been 33 years after all. And it's not like we promised we'd meet again. <sighs> Sorry. I'm not making any sense. I know. <sighs> Forget it. It's nothing to do with you, anyhow. Alright. Say so. Man, trees are cool. I don't really get to see many trees because I live, you know, in the city. But, um... There's always something nostalgic about just a nice big tree. Actually, no, I, I went to, um, I went to, like, a local, not local, like, we, my family took a trip, and we went to, like, a forest, right? Like, we, it was kind of like a, a park, I guess, and that was actually scary. Uh, because, you know, I don't really see trees too often, so, being surrounded by these multi-story trees was actually kind of a bit of a shock for me. Ugh, so hot! That was summer this hot! Global warming, that's why. It's be so much cooler, I'll tell ya. Alright. Yeah. Oh, another guy. Sir, kid. This is a construction site. Scram. Oh, and that passageway there is 100% off limits. Don't even think I'm trying to sneak in. They're smashing it all off. Hey, 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 Mirai? I think I hear someone talking over there. Uh, me too. And they're real loud. Let's check it out. Um, this doesn't seem safe. Okay. Oh. I think that the pa that path the kitty took leads to the other side. Let's see where it leads. All right. Don't don't think too much about it, Guma. It's fine. Oh, this! The comet! What do we do with this thing? This thing. What do we do? Come on, use your brain, Einstein. You know what this is. So you think it's one too, eh? You bet it's a bomb, I tells ya. Left over from the war. <laughs> I know what they're going for, I was... Think it'll go kablooey? Might. Then again, it's kind of shiny. It's kind of shiny to be a bomb. Almost looks like a mirror to me. Well, <laughs> well, whatever. We gotta go tell the bot. We gotta go tell the. <laughs> Why are we like Batman villains? <laughs> Why? Why? Why are we? <laughs> who's Who's there? I uh, probably nothing. Being in these alleyways gives me the creeps. You ever hear the Batman? Hey, shut your yap! You want to get a, you want to get a, your hide tan by Harley? <laughs> we, we we gotta do our job. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, we're done. We're done. I am the knight. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he'll know what to do. Go, go, go! go. Get, get out of here before it blows! 
Get out of- Okay, now I'm too loud, I think. Ugh. Hold on. Uh, let's just stick around here. Hey, you- Hey, you kids! What are you doing here? This place is dangerous! Get out of here! Fun for the hills, kids! <laughs> While you still can! Go, go, go! You guys are heroes. <laughs> hey, Nato, do you think it'll go kablooey? No, no way! It can't be. Is this really happening? Hey, Mirai? <laughs> Sorry, Goba. <laughs> I'll allow links at some point. Do you remember that secret I told you? About how I kept having these weird dreams every night. Well, one of the... I, I mean, I really wonder what that could be, but, you know... I have a feeling what that link could possibly be. Well, one of them was about this crazy glowing square thing half buried in the dirt. And it looked just like this. How can this be real? Funny. I thought it was pretty funny. Well, you know what I think. Not so. Huh? Did you say something? No. Nato. Uh, um, yes, that, that's me. Mm. Okay. What? What? What the? Uh, Mirai? What happened? Where are we? We were just at the shrine, and then. Uh-oh. We're inside your head, Minato. <laughs> Who's watching too much anime now? What? Uh, what's with that stupid smirk? Get rid of it. It's getting on my nerves. Uh, Mirai? Is it just me, or do you sound different? More grown up. You thought you were real sneaky last night when you threw away your carrots, didn't you? You saw that? You got a big crush on that girl Harka in your class, right? <laughs> and under your bed, behind the suitcase, you hit a stack of... Ah, stop, 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 stop! Guess human you guess human subconsciousness is a train? I knew that. I knew that much. How do you know all that? Have you been spying on me? Also, thanks for caring about me. I know how worried you are about me being sick and all. Wait, how did you... You weren't supposed to know about that. Follow me. I'll explain everything. Wait, wait a sec, give me a moment! What is going on? Mirai? <clears throat> what now?
I'm about to tell you an unbelievable story. It's a bit long, but will you hear me out? Of course. What? Ooh! Yumizu, yo, hey, how's it going? What's up? Um, what's up? Indeed, I don't know. This game is getting weird. <laughs> um, but I am playing the kids we were. It's apparently like a story based narrative game. That's redundant. It's a narrative based game. <laughs> Damn it, Ariel. Okay, fine. Ara, ara. There. That's not my thing. I'm promising you guys now, I'm not really an Ara Ara person, I swear. Please. <laughs> Stop! Stop! That's not my deal! Fans are pleased, thanks. <laughs> How's it hanging, Minato? Is this, is this? Um, who are you? Where's Mirai? And how do you know my name? Sorry for startling you. I thought it'd be easier to talk if I took on your sister's form, but I think it had the opposite effect. It's not a redeem, Goa! Now, I'd like to have a very important conversation. Can you come with me, please? Is this, her? this is our dad, yeah? There's no way he isn't. Why Why am I here? God. I, I, I don't even... I don't even... Yeah. It's, no, not twice! Nikoni! <laughs> you think this is a dream, right? You're not entirely wrong. It's similar, but different. My appearance now and earlier are tran uh, transitory, like a reflection. Pops are watered, your skin is cleared. No, stop! You're not hydrated, I am hydrated. Uh. But this isn't a dream, Minato. This is real. And so is what I'm about to tell you. I'll get straight to the point. Otherwise, we'll be here forever. I'm... Oh! I'm you. Well, the future you. From 33 years from now, to be precise. What are you... T what are you talking... Uh, my voice? Why can't I talk? Sorry, Minato. I need you to be quiet and listen right now. I am. Uh, I don't have much power left. Power? I see that. That's not a redeem. <laughs> nice try, Marna. That object there? It's a ship. A vessel that can tra traverse the fourth dimension. In simple parlance, a time machine. In fact, the same one that shows up in that famous local urban legend, though, it goes by a different name there. Thank you for the care package. Ugh. I've spent the last 33 years of my life researching this ship. How long has it been buried there? Where did it come from and why? But all my efforts proved fruitless. It's a mystery I just can crack. Although... Why are we walking? Just talk to me! There is one thing I learned. Once every 33 years, it can send a person into the future the past. It also can grant the power to let people converse with people in the past, just like we're doing now. Are you following so far? 
<laughs> yes, I forgot you can't talk right now. Well, I'll assume that's a yes. I have a favor to ask. Something I desperately need you to do for me. Something only you can do. I spent 33 years of my life in pursuit of this one great purpose. I want you to change the future. Wow, is he for real? Life hasn't gone the way you expected it to, has it? For example, your late father lost forever to you. How does he know about that? Don't you want to change that? Well, you can. You have that power. But to do it, you need to travel into the past. 33 years to be precise. I went once too, you know. 33 years ago, I stood where you did now and leapt through time, and I failed. It's too late for me. I can't go back anymore. Not that far. That's why I need you to go for me. I want you to reclaim the future we should have had. A happy future. A future with our family. You... You can't expect me to believe all of this. Uh, my voice. It's back. You're worried about that? You're, you're worried about her, aren't you? Mirai. Her illness is quite serious. How did you know that? Is it an obvious? Because I'm you. If you would just believe me, it... No. Now is not the time. You won't believe me now, but you don't understand soon. I know you will. I'm you after all. You'll be back with your answer before too long. And I'll be here waiting. Oh, and by the way, when you feel up to it, I'd like you to open that notebook and read the final page. But please don't wait too long. You'll lose your only chance to go back when they dig out that ship. Sorry I talked your ear off. I know this is a lot to take in. One last thing before I forget. A warning. Keep an eye on your sister. What happened? What? Yes, yeah, save, please. Was that a dream? Mirai, what was I just doing? Um, have you gone all funny? You're just standing there, duh. She's acting like nothing out of the ordinary happened. Did all that happen by the blink of an eye? <clears throat> Let's go, Mirai. Sure. Last page of the net notebook. Chapter 3 The Adventure Begins Now we're in. Died of lung disease. It, d does the rest of our family also have lung disease? Man, that sucks.
All right. Guess we're back in. Um. Let's look. Oh man. At the very least, the. At the very least, the... Is that the sound of cicadas and birds? It brings back memories. Here's the thing. I'm so used to the sound of cicadas at this point. But I feel like in real life, I would be freaking the hell out about cicadas. Why am I talking to the animals? Sorry, kid. This is, yeah. Where are we going? No one has anything new to say. Long summers. It's getting dark, huh? Yeah, and it's about time to meet up with Mom. They're huge and gross looking, but they're but they're one of the sounds of summer. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, like like I'm like I I'm, I do bad with bugs anyway, but I just mean like. I, I've heard that it, cicadas are way louder than I expect them to be. I forget how impressive, impressive my voice acting is. I, it, it's, it's, there are a lot of other people who are way more impressive than I am. Trust me. I'm just doing the best I can. But I appreciate it nonetheless. Put them up. Why am I putting them up? Don't put myself down. Well, like... <laughs> Uh, thank you, Marna. It means a lot. Both of you guys, Marna, Yumizu, like, thank you. <laughs> Stretch? Oh, okay. Uh, such a big sound from a bug. <laughs> it can compete with Sorini, stop! Why? station, right? <laughs> yep, <laughs> let's go. I've changed Minato's voice so much. <laughs> Great VA stuff, he loves listening in. Your attention, please. The train will be arriving momentarily. Please stay behind the yellow, the yellow lion. <laughs> Mirai! Mirai! Your attention, please. The train will be arriving momentarily. Please stay behind the yellow line. Mirai, 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 Mirai. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no! Run, 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 run! What was that scream? Rush, 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 rush. I, you have nothing to say to me. Run, run, run. No, 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 stop talking to me. Stop, 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 stop. Out of the way. Out of the way, please. We both collect the skins they're selling as a medical ingredient. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Please, please. I don't have time for this. I need to look at the rush and you're just waddling. It's a, uh, my legs are small. Uh, come on, come on. This way. You right? Okay, thank God. There you are, you two. Mommy! So, how was the memorial? It was fine. It helped me remember a lot of things I haven't thought about in years. Cool. I think. What did you do with your brother today, Mirai? Um, 
he told me not to tell you. Ah! I'll let it slide today. Come on, let's go home. Why am I playing the game so? You're unusually quiet, Minato. Is everything okay? I I'm fine. No problems here. If you say so. Today was the craziest day ever. I need time to think. To sort it all out. Let me start from the beginning. What was the name of the town we visited today? Uh, Kagami. That's right. Kagami. It's where my mom and my dad used to live. Dad... Me and Mirai spent the whole day looking for him, but he had passed away. I still can't believe it, but it's true. I saw his grave and everything. Oh, yeah. The cemetery. I, I got something there, but... What was it? A notebook. Yeah, that's it. The Seven Mysteries Notebook. Uh, what a weird name. After I read it, I went to the shrine. The most unbelievable thing happened to me there. Someone asked me to... change the future. Yeah, that was it. Someone asked me to travel into the past to change the future. Man, that was such a weird dream. It... Was a dream, wasn't it? Dreams. They've been kind of freaking me out lately. It feels like every night I have these bizarre ones I can't explain. And now, I'm starting to have them while I'm awake too. What happened today? I don't think that was a normal dream. I, I mean, what I saw was impossible. I dreamed... Things I hadn't done yet. That's right. I dreamed about things that hadn't happened yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Minato. There's gotta be a rational explanation for this, right? Your attention, please. The train will be arriving momentarily. Please stay behind the yellow line. That guy asked me to change the future. Otto? Dreaming about things that haven't happened yet. Time travel, Mirai. Wait. Wasn't there something about her? Earth to Minato? I don't... I don't feel so good. Thoughts are spinning around in circles. I think my brain's fried. He feels so dizzy. I... Your attention, please. The train will be arriving momentarily. Please stay behind the yellow line. What was that last thing that guy said again? I have a feeling it was important. Keep an eye on your sister. Your attention, please. The train will be arriving momentarily. Please stay behind the yellow line. Shit, shit, shit!
took me a second to process what happened. There was this horrible screech, and it felt like my mind went, went numb. Someone screamed. It took me forever to realize it was Mom. Wait, what? Hey, kid, are you all right? Oh, you're okay. God. You were incredible there. You were one second slower. What's going on? Mirai! Are you all right? You're not hurt, are you? Mirai, what's wrong? You're so pale. My head's all dizzy, Mommy. It is? But the doctor said... It was too early for the symptoms to start showing. Symptoms? When Mom realized Mariah and I weren't hurt, she sunk to her knees with a sob of relief. I saw this all unfold with a strange sense of detachment. It felt unreal. Like watching a movie. It was another minute or two before I realized my hands were squeezed into fists so tight my knuckles ached. Everything had happened so fast. There was no way I could have reacted in time if I hadn't already seen it happen. There was no longer any room for doubt. Those dreams I'd been having, they were real. You feel up to it. I'd like you to open that notebook and read the final page. Then, when the time feels right, I'd like you to come back and see me again. But please don't wait too long. You'll lose your only chance to go back when they dig out that ship. I should have turned to help Mom and Murai, but I just had to see it again. To make sure I wasn't going crazy. My hands trembling, I reached into my backpack and slowly pulled out the notebook. I hesitated then for a second, afraid of what I would find. But with fingers nearly frozen with fear, I forced myself onward. I never imagined that turning a single page could be this hard. And on that fateful final sheet, this was written. I'm sure you realize the truth by now. You have the power to see the future. Use that gift. Save your family. The next thing I knew, I was running as if my life depended on it. I think I heard someone shout my name, scream for me to stop, but I didn't care. My destination was clear as day. I needed to hurry. Faster. Faster! I had to make it in time before I lost my only chance to fix things! <sighs> Sorry, this area's off limits. I found something suspicious buried back there. Could even be... A bomb! <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> I'm just teasing you, kid. Alright now, move along. That guy's a pain. In my way. I need to get through there. <clears throat> Ow. Hey, what are you doing out this late? Kids your age should be in bed. Go on, run along home. Did, did something happen? Huh? Why do you know something? <laughs> Come on. This is... What? Oh. Come. Come in, this is... 
requesting urgent assistance. This is Takahashi. Copy that. Scram, kid. Get shoe. Can I just go through? What, you again? What are you still doing here? Um, uh, uh, oh! That policeman over there was looking for you. He was? He sent me to get you. He said it was urgent. Hmm. Did I lay it on too thick? Who did he say sent you? It's, uh, Hashimoto, right? Hashimoto. Nice try, kid. Oh, fuck! I want to play games with the cops out for you. <laughs> oh, no. No, is it Takahashi? Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Ta Takahashi. Whoops, my bad. Ah, I, I, I spammed, I spammed, I spammed, I'm sorry. This is urgent, I'm sorry. Huh? Officer Takahashi sent you. Why didn't he come himself? Wait, just a second. Are you pulling my leg here? Officer over- Officer over here! What the? Hurry! Oh, 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 no! Hurry! Hold on! Hold on! Justice is on its way! Oh, okay. Phew! Did I look out? Now's my chance! It's go time! But... Who was that shouting just now? Me? Was it me? Huh? Well, now we're that we're on the subject, I suppose now is as good as ever. Listen to me, Minato. What is it? Mirai isn't going to get better. What? What are you saying? They did all those tests with our our bone marrow, and they really hurt. Nothing that took. No way. Tato. Hey. <coughs> <coughs> Mom, are you okay? What's wrong? Why are you shaking? I'm... I'm okay. My darling boy, will you promise me something? You leave me too, okay? I don't want to be alone. That dream again. Sorry, Mom. I had the dream from this side of things, right? This side of things? This side of things. You came. I knew you would. I can tell you've made up your mind. <laughs> I'd recognize that look anywhere. Yeah, this is... this is a lot. Thank you for the bit, Neon. Because I'm you, right? That's... that's right. 
So you do believe me? You do you believe me now? Or better yet, do you trust your visions? You saw the future, didn't you? And that's why you believe me. You've realized that you can save your family. Tell me something. Mirai. Is it true? <clears throat> what you saw in your vision, yes. He can't be cured except with a bone marrow transplant. Mom's wouldn't work. And mine wasn't a match either. <clears throat> I know the real reason you were so desperate to find your father. They said siblings had the best chance for bone marrow to match. I should have been able to help, but I couldn't. I'm the worst brother in the world. I couldn't help her when she really needed me. So you're trying to find the one remaining blood relative who might be able to help. Your dad. A gamble to find a donor. The likelihood of a parent's marrow is compatible. Uh, is... Low! I know! Way lower than a sibling's! Exactly. But I couldn't just give up, could I? Not while I still had a chance to save her. You're... Stronger than I remembered. Sorry. This conversation went on longer than I planned. Let's get back to the point. Are you in? I'm in. Are you sure? This ship is going to transport you 33 years into the past. Once you're there, you're going to have to find a way to stop something from happening. Something? What something? I'm sorry, but I can't tell you. If I did, it couldn't be done. I don't understand, but I guess I'll trust you. I can only tell you one thing for certain. If you're successful, that sad future you saw won't come true. We share the same hopes and dreams, Minato. Now go. Save our family. But... What am I supposed to do? Easy. Just follow that notebook. I'll show you the way. The notebook? The one about those mysteries? The very one. Your task is to solve them all. Do so and I guarantee it will lead you to the truth. Oh yeah. I need to find... What was her name again? Nozomi. Uh, Nozomi, right. I, I need to find her? Correct. I'll try. I don't really understand any of this, but... I'll try. Um, one last thing. Yes? Well, I... Will I be able to come back? From the past to now, I mean. You have 72 hours in the past. That's your time limit. After that, you'll be transported back here. To the future. 72 hours. Like of an eye. And a lifetime. <clears throat> So three days? Just that, to finish your task. All right. Oh, and this may sound familiar, but one last warning. And so my adventure began. Can't believe it. I know, I couldn't either. But unbelievable or not, this story's true as it gets. And it's only now just getting started.
Ah, it's you. I've been waiting. What? Who? <clears throat> Not understanding time travel and what you're supposed to be going into should be a huge red flag. Yeah, I'm unsure of what's going on. But, you know, I feel like I'm motivated now. Chapter 4 Unfamiliar Streets Uh, what? Oh, he's awake. Uh, why were you napping here? Everything okay? Uh, where am I? Oh, wait. This is... What's wrong? You look kind of freaked out. Oh, I, uh, sorry, I, I'm fine. A everything's fine. Uh, okay. Hey, do you mind if I ask you a weird question? What year is it? Um, did you hit your head or something? <clears throat> oh, crud. She thinks I'm a weirdo. Look at the time! <laughs> Gotta run! Hey! Wait! I said wait! Uh, look, he dropped something. A notebook? Something funny about that one. <laughs> no doubt. But I wonder... Nah, just my imagination. What do you think his deal was? Eh, who cares? I gotta go. I'll be back later, Akko. Don't worry about Katetsu's... <clears throat> Sorry. Don't worry, Katetsu's keeping an eye on the store room right now. I <laughs> got it. Yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time differentiating multiple kids. That boy was super suspicious. It's like he didn't even know where he was. Wait, here is it. Crazy. Or could it be? Yeah, that was close. I almost blew my cover. I can't forget what old me told me, me. I can't forget what old me told me, me. Seventy-two hours. Link and I in a lifetime. So, three days. Just like, just that to finish your task. All right! Oh, and this may sound familiar, but one last warning. What? Under no circumstances let anyone know who you are or when you're from. If you do, everything will fall apart. Got it? Got it. I'll be careful. I've got to be smart. Now, um... Whoa! The convenience store's gone! Ah, uh, focus! It's not gone! It never was! Duh. Still, it's hard to believe I'm really in the past. I should take a walk around and check uh, the town out. Hmm... Well, I should be careful. If I get lost, I'll have to go ask for directions at the police box again. Wait a sec. I have that old map I found in Dad's notebook. That might come in handy. Alright. This map- this town is not that big. I don't- <laughs> The friendly local policeman will also happily point you in the right direction if you ask. What a champ. Let me just take a look here. Oh, I think this will come in handy. But seriously, who made this? 
Looks like a blind monkey with a box of crayons took up cartography. Let's see. I think it's about time for a haircut. I don't know if you need one, my guy. Yes, yes, dear. <laughs> You're staring at me awfully hard. Oh, um, so sorry. That sort of old lady looks a lot like that nice, really old lady in the future. Yeah. There's an old tradition down at Kagami Shrine where they pray to Arahabaki's Comet. It's been going on since my Gram's, Gram's time at least, so it's a tra tradition that traces its roots far back. The layman's name for the comet that I'll be passing across the sky soon is Arahabaki's Comet. It's, but its true designation is C1917. X1. Scientific community is in an uproar about it right now. You see, its trajectory doesn't match the math, and hey, did you just yawn? Rude. Science is exciting stuff. Oh, you again. Um, let's look around. Let's go to the cemetery. There shouldn't be a shrine there, right? Wait. Uh, boys are so gullible. There's no way something as ridiculous as a sushi noko exists. It's just an urban legend. Nothing here either, but I'll catch one. I won't give up. Any luck? I'm gonna catch one for sure and win all that prize money. Sneak up on me like that! I got a, I got pee on my hands because of you. Hey, what? What? New item amulet to the catalog. Super eraser, man. Um, one of the legendary rubber heroes who took the world by storm, as capsule. Pro Prizes, many allowances were lost in vain attempts to collect them all. This one's named after a Mahjong hand, but how are kids supposed to know that? You're right, I don't know Mahjong. I guess Dad's not dead. Oh, nope, sorry. Um. Policeman. Wait, what? I am going the right way, right? No? Yeah, the police box is right there. Nope. Wait. That's not. It's always going on about how a morning bath is best the best way to start a day. Oh. Okay, maybe this town is pretty big. Hmm. This is the bathhouse. I feel like I've seen this place before. Yeah, you have. Seems a lot less shabby than last time I saw it, though. We're in the past! Oh, something shiny. Ooh. Ten yen coin. Oh, it's just a dumb ten yen coin. Eh, might as well keep it. Lucky items. Look, a shiny ten yen coin. I'm sure it'll bring good luck. With this coin, you'll find all sorts. Yeah. Yeah, sure, I'll find everything. Well, I'll try. What do I have to say about a 10 yen coin, though? 10 yen coins were minted between Showa 23... 
and Showa 33. Our identified... Oh. Ten yen coins minted between Showa and Showa are identifiable by the unique grooves on their edges, valued highly by collectors. Some go for thousands of times face value. Aw, this one's from Showa 38. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work I go. My kids are small, gotta be them all. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Street, Main Street. Oh, that's where I am right now. Um, I guess let's go this way for now. Fine picture. Family photos are such wonderful things. And one day I'll be able to take one of my own. I'm sure you'll find someone soon. In fact, I bet they're much closer than you think. Oh, I'm so daring. <laughs> <laughs> police box. I remember this place. From the future. But why does it still look so old and musty? Oh, right. I need to find that girl, Nozomi. Maybe I should ask that policeman if he knows where she lives. Um, excuse me. Yes, son? I'm kind of looking for a girl named Nozomi. Uh, do you know her? Nozomi, is it? Is she missing? No, not exactly. Okay, how old is she? Um, can you describe her for me? What does she look like? Her hair, her clothes, and so on. Um... I can't help without something go on, so... I don't know. I've never met her. Why are you looking for a girl you've never met? Um... Would you mind stepping inside for a minute? I'd love to have a little chat. I'll need your name and address, and then... I, I, never mind. I'm fine. It's just a misunderstanding. Sorry. Bye now. No, uh, wait. Hey, wait. That was so scary. I guess randomly asking people isn't the best idea. This is harder than I thought. How do I find someone I don't know anything about? Oh, you're the, you're the BGM guy. Found one coins. Part-time job? Huh. Little leagues. If I want to make it big, I've got to buy stocks. I'm going to be a trader. At least, that's what I read in the papers. But where do I buy stocks? Uh, maybe the grocery carries them. Sorry, I just got a message. No, you know who's prophecy. What? What does that mean? A platinum bestseller that inspired terror in elementary schoolers across Japan. Thankfully, the prophesized king of terror never did descend from the sky in 1999, July. Uh, I guess that means I gotta go back to work. So we are in the 80s, I think. Like the late 80s. Because I think this game was supposed to take place in 2020. So 33 years, but wait. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. That's that's how that works. Which one should I buy? I've gotta be careful about how I spend my allowance. Oh Jesus. I'm guessing that red thing's a phone. I think I saw one in the history te textbook once. Oh, I know. I can use that coin I found to make a phone call. I can just call mom's cell. She'll know what to do. This time travel thing really isn't reaching him, huh? <laughs> what even is this thing? How am I supposed to use it? Oh, phew. There's instructions. 
Mom wrote her cell number on the back of that flyer, I think. There it is. Let's see. Zero nine zero. The number you have dialed is not in service. Please check the number and dial again. But I, I dialed it right and everything. Oh, right. Time travel. I guess I really am in the past. Alright, we're next. Maybe I should try heading to the train station. It might be easier to find someone if there are a ton of people around. A red public telephone like you you find like those you'd find at cigarette shops or train stations. Seeing one brings back fond memories of the show era. Wasn't the grinding sound of the dial spinning back around just so satisfying? I miss that. Is it a phone? Why is there wires? Why does the glass do nothing when I poke it? Did not keep public phones charged back then? Is that a hand drawn map or are you hallucinating? It is! It's one they keep roasting. Wait, why is there a photo booth here? Oh! Yeah. It reminds me of, um, if you ever, if you guys have ever played, like, Amori, there's, like, a part-time job you can take up where you basically deliver pizzas, and all of the little, all of the things are, um, all, like, all of the instructions are handwritten and are badly written, by the way, so it's, like, you kind of have to parse the person's handwriting just to understand, like, oh, yeah, this is... You don't like old phones, but typewriters, the ding you love. I... I guess I've used a typewriter before. It was weird. Oh, no, I didn't want to go back. <clears throat> Masashi! Come out and play! Excuse me. Um, me? Uh, yep. <laughs> Do you know where Kagami Shrine is? Oh, um, over there, I think. Sorry, I don't know this area that well either. Oh, I, I guess you're not from this neighborhood. N no. <laughs> then you're here to see the comet too, I take it. Isn't it exciting? I'm from the next town over myself. Kagami Shrine is supposed to be the best spot for miles around to see it. Comet? Arabaki's Comet, of course. You have heard of it, right? It only comes around once every 33 years, so I can't miss it. Otherwise, I'll have to wait until 2020. I'm old and gray. <laughs> Did she just say 2020? So, uh... Are you sure it's going to be 2020 in 33 years? Oh, did I do the math wrong? How embarrassing. It's 1987 now, so 87 plus 33 is... Hey, I was right! Don't scare me like that! You shouldn't tease people, you know, especially about math. Well, thanks, I guess. Bye-bye. We are in the 80s. The late 80s at that. So it is true. I'm really in the past. So Arabaki's Comet passed overhead in this time too. I guess it would. What with the 33 year cycle and all. Hey, wasn't there something about a comet written in my notebook? I should check. Let's see. Notebook, notebook, who are you? It's gone! No, 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 no! I must have dropped it! But where? The shrine! I've gotta go see if I can find it! Zev right up, cheap veggies now on sale! Daikon radish is a steal today, so buy it in bulk, you thieves! What to make for dinner? Coming up with fun and fresh meals is hard work. 
But my love's smile makes it all worth it. Aw. My life's dream is to open a suit store. My life's dream to open a suit store is finally reality! It's a business economy, you gotta look snappy to make it! Let's just hope his handwriting is so bad people can't read it. Well, yeah, here's hoping. Taking on massive debt. Ha! <laughs> Doesn't scare me. Is the the 80s is, is the uh the the bubble, right? That's bubble era Japan. Uh-oh. That would be bad. Does the cop have anything to say to us now? Is he just like a hey, step step it? On struggles. Oh. Oh, okay, never mind. He, he does not remember me. Was it this cop? Um. Can I look around first? I've never been here. We'll go in order. But I found some coins. Uh. And no one's here. Rats, what now? I was sure I dropped it here. I don't see it anywhere. <sighs> what is taking this train so long? I'm a busy man. I don't have time to stand here waiting around. Honestly, I don't know what I'll do if it doesn't get here soon. It's never this late. Everyone, I just heard the news on the radio. There's been a horrible accident. They say the conductor goes off and somebody died. What? <laughs> that was terrible. I've never had that dream or vision before. Does that mean my power to see the future works here too? How advanced Japan is now, I believe the 80s is when they built flying cars and YouTube, of which they simply called Tube, as they've already had the internet for 200 years prior. Well, the 80s is actually when Japan was at its height and then like the economy crashed, if I remember right. Unless that was a bit earlier. Yeah, because the 80s was when Japan was expect, like, you know, like, Getting all like that was when they were experiencing basically the height of their economy booming, and then things crashed in the 90s because the 90s is called the lost era, right? The lost decade, and then that's kind of where all of the um, I don't know, then I, I just know the 90s were a weird time for Japan. I feel like I've read up and see things before they happen. But what am I supposed to do about it? Perhaps... I'm supposed to try to stop these things I'm seeing? But how am I supposed to do that? Unfamiliar streets. And I think we'll go one more chapter. And then we'll stop for today. Chapter 5. Meetings. Because I feel like we got a good premise going on right now. Phew, my beat. I swear those stairs get longer every year. This looks like an interesting game. Hi, Box. Yeah. This is, um... The Kids We Were. It is basically about a kid... A young boy going back into the past to prevent his family from suffering a terrible fate. 
Um, our sister apparently has a disease that needs bone marrow, and neither our mom or us are really compatible. So we are, we were kind of on a quest to go find out our dad because our parents divorced, but our dad has since pa passed away. So we are looking around. We are sent back to the past to kind of try to find them and make sure they don't die so that, you know, we can, we have someone to transfer some bone marrow. Yeah, that's why time travel is kind of scary for me too, Neon. I don't like the idea of like, like touching a blade of grass and then suddenly all my loved ones just don't exist. Um, yes. How can I help you? I'm looking for a girl named Nozomi. Do you know her? Nozomi? No, can't say that I do. All oh, rats. Thanks. Is she a friend of yours? Oh, well, sorta, I guess. I don't know her, but I guess the other children would. would. Why not ask them? It's getting late. All the kids usually hang out by the candy shop around this time. Why not look there? That's a great idea. The candy shop you're looking for is on the road next to the elementary school. Down on 3rd Street. I'll head there now. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure. But how are you doing, Box? Ooh! Hopping Frog. Hops and bops through the power of air. Amazing! Except it always, almost never lands on its feet. Watching it try so hard, yet always flop fail, teaches, teaches children the grim realities of life. Jesus. Doing good here. Good to know. I will actually be on Box's stream later today. As they are going through, um, what was it? A Valkyrie profile, right? Kitty, kitty, you're so cute. <laughs> I, I can't purr. I'm sorry, I can't. Can't get the coins out with some gum. I'm a student of history. Recently, I've been researching the legacy of this shrine. It's a fascinating place, a strongly worthy subject of study. Right. Sure. My hobby is reading the wishes people write on the shrines at Emma. These wooden wish plaques. Take a look. Everyone has hopes, dreams, and aspirations. Seeing them puts life in perspective for me. I wish all these people's wishes and dreams will come true. Purring is just rolling your R's with my mouth closed. Well, that explains why I can't do it. I can't roll my R's. <clears throat> wait, what? Wait. Is Valkyrie? What what game are we playing? I don't remember anymore. I'm I'm so confused. Okay, exactly. Val Valkyrie profile. Got it. Okay, okay. It is indeed a dark game. I'm against it. I'm 100% against it. Fight the power. Fight the. Huh? What am I so upset about? The government's proposal to introduce a new consumption tax, of course. Three percent? Ridiculous, that's highway robbery! I have so... I feel so bad for you. Is it weird that, like, I only really know that because of Yakuza? And I know it because I'm pretty sure Majima is the one who... Like, in that fictional universe, of course, is the one who introduces the... Like, basically inspires the three percent tax. has led you to believe all cats are just pirates but just keep their mouths shut about it. I mean... Kinda, they, they are, kind of. Can't wait to wash off this gunk. I'm drenched in sweat. Bleh. No! I forgot my wallet home! Aw, oh, rip. 
This energetic kid who always wears yellow runs in and out of the bathhouse all the time. Oh, her son, maybe? Hmm. I want to drink! I want to kick back and glug 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 my way to a good time. But I'm not off work yet. What do I do? Sales for a big beer company. Is it an ironic, don't you think? Sunsets always get me. What do you want, kid? Guard's not open for business yet. I get I have a really bad thing with like um endings, you know? Be it the ending of a game or the ending of a year or even a day, actually. Seeing sunsets just kinda like it bums me out in a weird melancholic way. Like I'm not actually super bummed out, I'm just like a little bit sad. Retro medicine. I'm sure this means a lot to people who actually live in Japan. Cough medicine with their questionable design sense. Medicine is supposed to make you feel better, but this packaging just spreads anxious unease. Fun fact, Kara Buckets had ads for this brand of them ran on them. May Joe, hi! <laughs> Welcome! Thank you for the raid. Um, how- how has the stream been? What were you streaming, actually? <laughs> Let me shout you out, actually. Oops, sorry, game's, uh... Shout... out. What? Wait. No, it, it is- it is not exclamation point. Sorry. No. Oh. There we go. Hello, stream went really well today. What did you end up playing, Mage, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, more Pokemon Silver. Oh, right, your monotype challenge. I hope that's going well. Like, I've never actually played the older Pokemon games myself. I've always been, um, I've always played, um, like, I, I started around Ruby and Sapphire, and I played the remakes of the first two. I mean, I played a little bit of Yellow back in the day. But I never got too far. Going well so far. Hey, nice! It, like... It's a- I think it's flying, right? Are you going for a flying team? Don't bother with the Gem 1 games! So I've heard! Like, a flying, I love flying types. Like, here's the thing about Pokemon, like the Gen 1 games. I've always heard that, um, like, yeah, people are just like, man, the code's so messy, and it's like, it's a buggy mess. And I'm just like, to some degree, I get that sentiment, but I'm also just like, it's a miracle this thing works at all, right? <laughs> but hello, Raiders. The magic is here. The magic is here indeed. Hello. Um, just Lee Belmont and there is a veil four and a nightmare. Welcome. Um, my name is Sorry Caster, and I am currently playing the kids we were, which I, I I hear is very much like um to the moon in terms of its gameplay and kind of narrative. At least its narrative, like how it's portrayed. But yeah, welcome. I hope you guys enjoy the stream. I am voice acting the game right now, and um, it's kind of sad times, but you know what? It's Sometimes we need those. <laughs> but yeah, sunsets always get me feeling a certain way. Down one coins. Can we? Woohoo! What do you say we have curry for dinner tonight? Need to grab some food? You'll be leaving. You yeah, no prob. Anytime. Um, that goes for all of you, by the way. If you need some time to like rest, like rest up after, you know, I assume a fairly long stream itself. Like, feel free. Big fan of the voxel aesthetic for this. Yeah, right. Like, I want to say my first experience with voxels was probably 3D. Got 3D. Got blah blah blah. 
3D Dot Game Heroes, which was a a FromSoft game, actually. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at this TV. CRT television. Let's see. What do you have to say about this? Um, you're good. No cooking. So no need for rest. Um, yeah, I'm glad to have you here too, Ariel. Like, the game originally takes place in the year 2020, which, you know, wasn't too far uh, far from now, but now it's taking, but we have gone back to the past and now it is 1987, just for context. And thank you, Jessely Belmont. Thank you for the, thank you for the follow. If you, if any of you guys have any like names you prefer me to call you, feel free, feel free to shout them out. Just hanging it on a wall. Good luck. Look at the size of it. Oh, and you can change the channel with the big old dial. That's right. Electronics used to be huge with buttons and switches all over. Anybody else miss those days? Miss me? <laughs> I, I feel like this is the author. Forget washing machines. It's the age of the personal computer. Why sell ancient history? Get modern. I don't know why I gave him that voice. <laughs> Can't wait for the sequel to Kids We've Been. Hopefully there's no need for a sequel. I'm just going to say that right now because things have been dire lately and it is, it is, it is rough. Just call you Lee. Okay then Lee, no problem. Oh, I, I just, just Lee, got it. <laughs> Even when you find old tech, it's all stained yellow because it took forever for people to stop smoking indoors. I don't know if that's completely the case because, you know, I think a lot of the white plastic people used to use just yellows by default. Because I didn't, you know, there was no smoking in my household, but even my old stuff is kind of grimy. Not that I have seen it in a while. Gotta double down on part time jobs, buy that motorcycle before someone else grabs it. Uh, back to the mines I go. Where's the candy shop? Oh, there it is. Candy shop's just down the road! Oh, thank, thank, thank you. <laughs> that helped out a lot, actually. Is there any old stuff you guys miss? I talk about the video now every now and then. Not that I miss it. I just kind of miss, like, old-style designs of, like, technology, like the... Do you guys remember clear color plastic and how everything was kind of looking like that? I kind of miss those days. Not for any particular reason, but I get nostalgic whenever I'm playing Splatoon and it's like I'm using the Luna Blaster, which they have since changed so that it now has that clear plastic on it. And it's like I look at that thing and I'm just like, oh, my God, this is so 2000s. I love it. I'm so tired, and it's gotten really dark out, too. And that old lady said kids hang out by the candy shop right about now. I should go, but what will I say to them? Paris, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Hope you have a good time. Also, I, I, I'm assuming you prefer Paris. Just, or fail for uh, you know, just let me know. That's... That's candy? Paris works. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm starving. Right now, I'd rather find dinner than Nozomi. But I don't have any money to buy food with. Wait a second. I have that 10 yen coin. Not like I'd buy anything with 10 measly yen. Well, it's the 80s, maybe. Pinball? Pokemon Pinball with Rumble Pack. That's the only one you miss. You remember when we had to use Rumble Packs in our handhelds? I mean... I mean, I guess... I guess we kind of had to. Until recently, actually. Them selling Rumble Packs for the DS was... Even the 3DS sometimes. No, no, no not the 3DS, because that didn't have a... Game Boy slot, I think. 
I don't know. Weird. <coughs> oh, I want to play video games. Wouldn't it be so awesome if they were free? That'll never happen. What is this? 10 yen game machine. Um. Drop 10 yen down the slot and slap the lever to guide the coin to the goal. Win and you, you get an exchange ticket for 20 yen. Something about the design just makes the heart soar with excitement. Wait, can I? Can I actually? No. I mean, that'd be a way to make money. Cartridge just took extra batteries for the rumble. Yeah. I Okay, here's one I actually kind of miss. I miss the e-reader. I really like the idea of the e-reader. But it never really took off over here. But I just liked having cars that actually had use. Like, I'm not really a car game person myself. Um. But I like the idea of having, yeah, the card swiper. Because it, it felt good to, like, swipe cards through it. And I just felt like, um, because this, this was when, um, this was when Battle Network was taking off, right? That always felt good. The sun sets on another day. What adventure should I have tomorrow? Summer break's only just getting started. Saying that one actually hurt. You heard Battle Network? <laughs> yeah, right? Like, oh. Welcome. What can I get you? Oh, I've only got 10 yen. Is that enough to buy anything? Um, that's not much. Uh, no, I, I guess it's not. Well, I uh, want to try testing your luck. Uh, what do you mean? Oh no, this is the gacha machine. Ta-da! The latest, the greatest, the dream machine. It's just a capsule, capsule machine. If you get lucky, you might just win something that'll fill your growing belly of yours. Uh, really? It doesn't look like food comes out of this thing. Do I look like a woman who goes around lying to kids? Do I? Hmm? No, ma'am. Good. Now every capsule has a paper with a number in it. In it. Bring it to me and I'll tell you what you won. Uh, that's easy. I'll take pity on you just this once and let you and let you give it a turn for that coin you've got. Poor kids deserve charity in my book. Now go on. Give it a go. No need to be shy. You're about to lose all my money. Oh, I'm about to lose all my money rolling for a 33-year-old shelter. What would that even be? Like a a lum? <laughs> Never had an e-reader yourself, but you had cards that came with Pokemon Ruby. Oh, right! I forgot they had cards that came with, like, the Pokemon games. Like, I get, like, you know, it was a marketing tactic that was designed to, like, get money out of kids. But, you know, that, that kind of stuff always happens. And I'd rather have it be a physical thing that I could, like, mess around with than something digital, net, like, nowadays. Card codes you can use in Yu-Gi-Oh games. They don't do that anymore. They don't make, I mean, they don't make Yu-Gi-Oh games like that anymore. They just want you to buy again. You hear the e-reader was popular in Japan. Yeah, it was. Because I feel like a lot of physical media, like that, that kind of physical media stuff, is way more popular over there than it was over here. Like, which makes me a little bit jealous, you know, because it's like, oh, man, I like beat a man, beat him on. Why didn't beat him on get popular over here? Well, I, I guess the real reason is because. Uh, Beyblade existed, which was probably a bit more easier. Anyway. <laughs> Oops. Spin the capsule. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, what the heck? Standing around won't get me anywhere. 
Here goes. Just spin the knob and... A capsule popped out. Hey, would you look at that? There is a number in here. What'd you get? Let's see. A four. Four? <laughs> Curses. Boy's got luck, I'll give him that. Here, take it, you thief. Ooh. Yum yum stick. Oh, food! Awesome! It's corn soup flavor. Um, can I have salami instead? What do I look like a flavor dispenser? Kids these days, I tell you. I gave you a discount on that dream machine, so you be happy with what you've got. Now get! Sheesh. If I did this every day, I'd be broke in a heartbeat. How much does this machine really cost to use? Three coins. Coins? Capsules. Oh. Okay. It took me so long to get upgrade from a clamshell phone to a touchscreen, even longer to do direct deposit rather than just going to the bank and cashing your checks. I do kind of miss clamshell designs for a lot of things, mostly because it's like really good at protecting the screen. Sometimes. I say that as a 3DS owner and it, an original 3DS owner and that didn't, that didn't do much. <laughs> but yeah, clamshell was always cool to me. Okay. Wait a sec. What? I don't accept refunds or complaints. This only cost 10 yen to begin with. I thought he wouldn't notice. So, so I did get swindled. I didn't swindle nobody. Don't spread, don't you spread vile rumors. I'll sue. Where's his voice going? You always found cash and checks annoying. You do still write them though. You're extremely petty and refuse to pay the transaction fee. That's fair. I'm, I'm, I wish I could be as petty because I'm pretty tried save more money. I, I always just like immediately want the deposit. The 3DS owner, you can sadly save the joints, even the clamshell ones never lasted. I don't know, the DS, like the DS's hinges were kind of brittle, but I feel like even if you broke it off, it'd still work. Yeah, let's, we have coins, we have 10 coins. I don't know, I love the DS. Like, I know a lot of people are nostalgic for the the Game Boy, but I feel like the DS was probably my console of choice. Ice cream wrapped in foil. Let's do some gotcha! Is this yogurt? Yogurt? One more. Ooh, what is this? Plum jam? I need to eat this. Remind me, do I need a Share what yours looks like. You bought it used to begin with, so the coating is already one where you got. Yeah, I. That seems like. That seems like your problem. As someone who whose family used to always get used, like consoles, a lot of them were grimy. And brittle. Hey, old lady! You get that plastic model I wanted in yet? Who are you calling old, you cheeky runt? Kotetsu Wachi! You know how short her temper is? Oh, don't have to, you don't have it yet, do you? I've been waiting to buy it forever! Quiet, you. 
You have the cash, right? I do! I did so many chores and cleaned the bath for my folks and stuff to save up! Chores, huh? Bah! Kids got it easy! Clean a few bathtubs and mommy showers them with cash! Hey, it was a lot of work! My parents are old bathhouse, so our bath is huge! Let me use a different voice for this kid. Hey, Kotetsu? Took an accidental nap and now you're here. What happened? Hi, Ren. How's it going? Um, we are playing the kids we were. The premise of the game is we are from the year 2020 and we aren't having a fun time. Our sister has an illness that we can't, that apparently medicine can't help because we don't have a bone marrow donor. And um, apparently our bone marrow, as well as our mom's, is not compatible with our sister. So we were on a quest to look for our dad in the country, who, you know, our parents are divorced, to find out if he was compatible. But um, they are, they have passed away since then. Um, So... After a lot of things, we are now kind of in the past, trying to prevent their death to see if we can even have any slight chance of saving our family. Also, you fall asleep and woke up in the past. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, what's up, Wataru? And that kid over there, he's the one I was telling you about. Uh, you tell me you told me about someone. Uh, you forget everything. Hi. I'm just gonna use my normal voice for this kid. Hi. We met at the shrine earlier, right? Wait, you're friends with this kid? No, stupid. I already told you. I just met. <sighs> Never mind. Cool. Got it, I think. This is Wataru. I'm Kutetsu. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, hi. My name's Minato. Minato. Cool. I'll totally remember. Are you okay? I was kind of worried after you ran off. You're not lost or anything, are you? Come on. No way. He's around our age. Kids our age don't get lost. Right? Dude, really? No, I'm not lost. I'm looking for someone. Uh, who? Wait, who's saying that? I forgot who's who. A girl named Nozomi. Uh, you don't know her, do you? Sounds convoluted. If we have time travel, we should stop her from getting sick in the first place. It's it, it's like a it's a condition apparently. I th <coughs> we don't exactly know what it is. They're being a bit vague about it. Uh, wait. Okay, K K K Kotetsu is the loud one. Got it. Hold up! Hold up! Who told you about Nozomi? Spill. Huh? I've never seen you at school, so you're not from around here. So how'd you know about her? Uh, well, well... Oh, crud. Are they friends with her or something? But wait a sec. This could be my chance to find her. Wait, shit. I literally forgot who's who. Oh, uh, no. What is- This log is useless! We prepare for this day. You know what to do, right? Oh wait, no, Kotetsu is the older one. Or the, the, the loud one. We prepare for this day. You know what to do, right? Yeah! Go tell Akko! What was that all about? And who's Akko? Okay.
Hey, wait, can you say what this is? A cubics puzzle. <laughs> wait, cubics is also a thing. A cube that can be twisted and turned in any direction. There was a time when these were all the rage. It still boggles the mind to think that there are people who can match all the sides. How is that even possible? I know someone who can do that. I know someone very well who can do that. Rock, paper, scissors game. Robots for everyone. A simple machine programmed to play the classic game. Beware, for if the AI decides to get serious, there's no way a mere human can win. Don't question the nice computer. That's rude. Cicadas. But how's everyone been doing? Um... Like... I don't know. I, I wanted to play this game because it has a very nice, nostalgic, kind of... Kind of somber view. Like, not view. Um... Is it the time travel? Is the time travel why we're all playing figures? <laughs> we are... Uh, no, we are like this in 2020, actually. I want to say this was a mobile game originally. Oh. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> Him! I knew it! Oh, hi. We met at the shrine, right? I've been looking for you. He says his name is Minato. Hi, I'm Akko. It's nice to meet you. But we've already met? Oh, shush! You know what I mean. <laughs> There's something I wanted to ask you. Um, sure. Shoot? What in the world... Is this? Hey, that's my notebook! The Seven Mysteries. You've got weird taste. But forgetting the name for a second? Give it back! It's important! How rude! I found it for you. You should be grateful! Besides, I'll give it back. Eventually. This is bad. If she reads the last page... I'm sure you realize the truth by now. You have the power to see the future. What's the deal with this notebook, huh? Maybe I should give it a, give it a thorough read before I give it back. <laughs> Akko, we got more important things to deal with. He knows about Nozomi. Oh yeah! I almost forgot. Look at this. Seek out the girl in Nozomi. Solve the seven mysteries. What is up with this? Some sort of bad joke? Or... Did someone set you up just to mess with us? <laughs> this is bad. She's got me pegged. I guess I just gotta come clean. Minato... How did you find out about Nozomi? Oh, um... Where to start? What do I do? She knows Nozomi. Think of something quick! I need to get her to tell me where I can find her. But if I mess up, she might keep my notebook. I'm in for big trouble. How should I answer? I can't tell her the truth. But I'm gonna cry. Total fail. I should've known. The only part I could get I could get in school in, in the school play was the tree. Should I answer? Play it off! Uh I don't know what you're talking about. I've never met her! I just some um... Truth now <laughs> Look at her glare. How is she so scary? How should I answer? I guess I'm telling the truth then. Um the truth is? Wait, no, I can't tell the truth. They'd never believe I'm really from the future. But I can't think of anything else to say. I think I might cry for real now. How should I answer? I'm your brother! 
Bruh. Bruh. Brother. I'm Nozomi's. Your. What? Her brother. Really? You're just making that up! I blew it. It's all over. Huh. But now that you mention it, they do kind of look alike. She's my mom! Huh? We, we do? But hold on! You can't be. They look like they're the same age! That's a good point. I gotta, I, I gotta try a bit different for this kid. Maybe, maybe more like a, like a, a, a Ben Diskin. Twit, twit, twi what? Twins! We're twins. That's it. Okay. Did that just work? But she never told us she had a twin brother. She doesn't like talking about her family. No, she doesn't. Did I guess right? You're looking for her, right? I yeah. Well... Okay, I guess it's a- Yeah, 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 that that's the voice. That's the Wataru voice. Sorry, I've been flip-flopping on his voice. This is it. I guess it's okay then. I'm so confused. Hey, Minato. Did your mom send you here looking for her? Mom? No! Hmm. I don't know if I can trust you. I swear! Are you, are you with her? Or against her? Um, uh, with her? Which is it? This is important! I'm with her! Of course! I'm her brother after all! What do you think, Wataru? I... something about his story sounds funny. But I don't think he's lying. What makes you say that? I mean, he does kind of look like her. And more than that, I don't think anyone would be dumb enough to make up a story like that. I hate myself. Yeah, good point. Otaru, I think it's okay. Uh... Can you take him to our hideout? You sure? Yeah. I'll go on ahead and let Katetsu and Nozomi know. Oh, yes! This is finally it! I can meet her! He got it. They bought it! Huh? Did you say something? Not a word. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the hydrate, Neon. Uh, Alright, follow me. I'll take you to Nozomi. Really? Truly? Yeah, calm down, jeez. Where is she? Not far. Let's go Jim's storeroom. That's an odd place to hang out. It's our secret hideout. No one will ever find her there. Which one of you is my dad? No, I know his name. Don't I? Follow me. It's this way. So this is what school was like back in the day. They just left the gate open, huh? I guess they're not so freaked out about security as they are in my time. Okay, the gym storage room should be the gym storeroom should be around here, I think. Is it wrong? Kind of hope you get to punch your dad in the face. Like nothing says our dad is a bad person so far. I mean, not saying. That can't be the case. What is this? I hated it whenever people would like 
Sure, you could be one of those cool kids and sharpen both ends, but we all ended up wearing down the rent side first. Teachers always had them handy. Wait, did they actually use the blue side? Bag of bullion, flavored potato chips, and the pro ball player's card hidden somewhere in the bag. They were a home run, but kids kept taking the card and shucking the chips, making for nightly newsworthy headline. This weirdly tangy candy comes in colorful package marked with an elephant seal. Scoop it out with a wooden stick and say, Bah! An abandoned etiquette to scoop it out with your fingers instead. Eat too much and you'll hurl. A tart jam made by smushing pickled plums into a paste. Eat it as is or spread on crackers. The possibilities are uh, several. <laughs> but we must mourn the Showa staple, this Showa staple, for they recently stopped producing them. R.I.P. Smush Plum Jam. A square bar of vanilla. I oh, that sounds so good, actually. Kind of looks like cheese when it oozes from its silver foil wrapping. Fun fact, this was Japan's first ice cream with a popsicle stick that gives you a chance to win free snacks. Kind of king of the candy shop. Beloved by people of all ages, both past and present. It used to be 10 yen, but now it's still 10 yen. How do they do it? Sound financial planning, that's how. Minato likes the salami flavor. Mirai corn soup. Sorry. This is an incinerator, right? There are gonna be more kids and I have nothing to say for them. Okay. Yo, Scovo, how's it going? Are you still- are you going to work now? Or did you go to work? How long have I been playing this game? Is that like a Klondike bar on a stick? Fix your only problem with Klondike bars. Oh. Ah, there you are! Everyone's already inside! Come on, they're waiting! About to leave for work. Ah, alright, I see. Well, in that case, I hope you have a good day. Or night. I've got a guest! Hey, he actually showed! Welcome to our secret hideout! Hey, where's Nozomi? She just stepped out. I guess she had to go to the bathroom. While I have you here, I want to ask you about something again. Yeah? Your notebook. I still have it if you haven't forgotten. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. It's pretty weird. What's with the what's the deal with these seven mysteries? Nothing, so give it back already. No. More importantly, where did he get this? I I can't say. Suspicious. Seven mysteries of Kagami. I'm gonna read them for everyone. Here I go. Stop! No, I'm going! Mystery 1. Mystery 1. The Haunted Train. Mystery 2. Phantom of the Bathhouse. Mystery 3. The School Pool ca Kappa. Mystery 4. Suchinoko. Mystery 5. The Smiling Woman. Mystery 7. The Seven Mysteries Notebook. Wait. Dude! Dude! That sounds so cool! Hey, didn't you skip number 6? Oh, did I? <laughs> hey, whoopsie. Eat. What's number 6? I've heard rumors about Kagami Kagam having a bunch of weird mysteries and stuff. They've been around forever! I heard about them too. How kid in another class told me if you solve them all, you get cursed. Cursed? Freaky. I heard something amazing happens. Oh, quiet, you two. Those are just stupid superstition superstitions, and you know it. I mean, no one can even agree on what they are. There's no way they're real. Yeah, you're right. Besides, number seven is that grubby notebook? <laughs> no way. Such a bunch of baloney. And 
get a load of this. There's one last thing written in here. Ooh, what? Solve, solve the seven mysteries. Do this and your truest wish will be granted. We gotta solve these mysteries now! Yeah, I'm with Kotetsu. That does sound pretty cool. I feel like I'm slipping into... Never mind. <laughs> if wait a sec. There's one th more thing written in here. Let's see. Hey, don't you read another word! And lastly, a warning. Unless you have dire need, don't let anyone see this notebook. Oh, wait a sec. What? That wasn't... Sorry. Uh, I guess I went and saw, huh? <laughs> You're giving that back to me right now, okay? Fine. Here. Anyway, let's forget about that notebook for now. Where's Izomi? She's taking forever. Uh, she went to the... She went to the bathroom, right, Kotetsu? Yeah, I guess. I mean, she didn't say where she was going. Seriously, though, why do girls always need to take, like, all their stuff whenever they go? Tetsu, you idiot! There's so many stuff's all gone! Wait, it is? Why didn't you say something earlier? How are you so dumb? Hey, I'm not dumb! You take that back! What's going on? There's so many left, and I don't think she's coming back. It's almost dark out. We need to find her, and quick! Oh man, I'm sure I'd finally found this Nozomi girl. This is going to be way harder than I thought. I've already used up half a day. I've got nothing to show for it. I need to pick up the pace. I only have 66 hours left until I'm out of time. Chapter 5 meetings end all right how about we stop here for now i'm gonna well i'll i'll let it go a bit longer just to see where everything's going no i can just end it i can just end it yeah i've been doing this for three hours yeah And uh, that was part one of the kids we were. I mean, we got to chapter seven, five, but you know, this is gonna be a. This one's gonna hurt. I just know it's gonna hurt. But I appreciate you guys for sticking by and uh, stopping by and sticking around. I don't know what I've gotten myself into, but you know, sometimes that's okay. Let me see who I can raid. Oops. Well, let me give me a bit. I think I have someone in mind. For some reason, my stream deck isn't really working, but I wish I could keep the music playing while I look around. Thank you for the stream. Listening to you is wonderful as always. Oh, I got so God listening to myself. Speaking of that, I I have my. Page open us. Um, but thank you, Arella. Thank you. It means a lot to hear that. Like, for real. Like, it means a lot. Um, let's see.
Uh, we did raid Blaze last time. Do I want to raid her again? She's drawing again, too. Hmm. Yeah, let's just keep the raid going. I was raided once. I might as well pass it on. Um, Marta is on. She is. But I feel like going from the kids we were to needy streamer overload, overload is a lot. Uh, let's raid Marta then. But just know that uh, needy streamer overload is... um. Kind of a raw game. So if you, uh, you know, if you guys need to step out, feel free to. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Uh, my stream deck is not working. Uh, how do I just manually raid? Sorry, right? Okay. All right, guys. Um, again, mind the content warning. Ne needy streamer overload overload is kind of a lot, so you know, <laughs> just keep that in mind. But also, you know, Marn is a cool streamer. They are also a voice actor, and they voice act very well. So, uh, you know, show them some love, and also, you know, respect the rules as always. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys there. Uh, start reading. Alrighty. Um, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Well, next time I gotta bounce. Where are my screens? Okay. Um, have fun guys. I'll I'll be there too for a little. I gotta prepare for another stream myself. Box is streaming uh Valkyrie profile, so I will be there in their stream at some point. But uh Well, I'll let you guys know when that happens. Anyway, uh later. <laughs>